Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Today I will be explaining you about the variable frequency drive. In this picture you can see this drive is of 3 phase 14 kVA and it can draw amps of specification is around 18.5 amps. So the make of this drive is Fiji. So this uh, drive is used for lift. It can be used for some other purpose also especially designed for the lift. So why it's designed? Because you have connections for the encoder here. So what can go wrong is you can IGBT can go wrong that is one part. Other is the power cord can go wrong. The controller can go wrong or the encoder can go wrong. Encoder. So I will be explaining you how to find one of the fault if the IGBT is gone how you are going to check that. So what I am going to do is, I am going to keep the plus on the minus here, check one by one. You can get the reading here, you can see first reading is coming 0.89, the second reading 0 0.190, more or less same. Again third one again 0.19, so all these three, read, three readings are okay. When you check the other side, first one is showing more you see, the other one 0.24. 0.43 exactly I want to show you here again one more time the first reading is here 0.246 the second reading is 0.247 the third reading you see it's showing more 0.482 so there's a problem here in the third reading this is the inlet side of the unit again I'm showing you you can see that first reading second reading the third reading is showing wrong so the inlet side there is a problem outlet side you can see here you can see the reading here more or less is coming ok you can see the second one 0 0.209 you can see the third one so this is how you have to check so the, this is the inlet side you give the input three phase and this is the output side so both the reading should these three readings should be same and these three readings should be same if that is now right now we got one of the terminal showing a wrong reading so now the IGBT is gone sometime what happens the power supply board may not be working alright but the IGBT may be okay or the control circuit board where you can give a internal or external supply 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamps that is one then you have the encoder here encoder board can also go wrong so if one of them is not working then you can change them the IGBT is very costly if you can change the IGBT most of the time the IGBT goes so make sure wherever you pick fix this variable frequency drive make sure it is cooling is proper so if you have any message regarding this you can always message me thank you